Hello guys and welcome back to part two of Beyond Two Souls. Part one was a lot of fun and I think this game's amazing. It's got a really, really good story to it. There's a lot more about this game that I really want to learn and experience with you guys. So welcome back to part two and just sit back, relax, get comfy. We're going to make this quite an interesting long part and we're going to find out more about this amazing game. So let's get into this boys. Let's get into it. Okay. So, oh, we're we're on the train. Yo, wake up! Back off, Aiden. What? I haven't slept in like three days. Okay, I'm tired. Alright, so we can we cause some trouble on the train? Let's annoy a few people. I'll be gone in the bag, okay? I wanna see. Okay. Uh wake up. Uh what you reading? I wanna see. Nice drink you got there. Don't mind if I, uh, oh. Don't mind if I, uh, knock it all over the place, do you? Hmm. I don't think we can cause too much aggro, because we can't be too far away from Jody. so. It's one of them. We've got to kind of stay close to her. What's going on here? Okay. So we've got sheriffs outside the train. Oh, great. Uh, Jody, you need to wake up. Wake up. Aiden. Look, I told you that. Crap. Okay, I'm guessing they might be looking for us. Because Judy probably wouldn't have said that otherwise. Are we in trouble or something? Evening. Routine check. Can I see your IDs, please? Ma'am, return to your seat, please. That's her! That's her! Right, go, 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 go. We're on the run. We're, we're clearly on the run for some reason. Right, we gotta move. Move, 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 move. Get off me, get off me! Excuse me! Right, oh, we've got to move. Uh, can we get the window open? I don't know what... Alright, go, 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 go! I don't know what dip, like what climbing out of a window on a moving train is going to accomplish, but we need to do something. Get off me! Ooh! Okay. 
Oh, we need to move, we need to move. Keep moving, keep moving. Let's avoid them. Get off me! Ooh. Need to be careful. Just keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Avoid being hit by the lights as well. Oh, great. Ooh, ooh. Nice. Oh. Ouch. Man. Go, 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 go. go. We're dropping off a moving train, boys. Is that like a force shield or something? Right, we need to move, because we can't just sit there. So we're like in the middle of nowhere, and it's raining. We're drenched wet through. We're tired, because as she said, she's, I, I, I don't know, he's probably sleeping like three days. I know. We gotta get out of here before they come back. Just gotta keep moving, boys. Oh, great. Alright, we gotta keep moving. No. You don't see me, you don't see me. Go. Oh, no, 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 no. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. Ouch. That's gonna hurt. Watch your footing, it's fucking slippery. Oh, we gotta keep moving, because we've got dogs on this case. Come on, come on, come on, keep moving, keep moving. Come on. Hopefully I'm going the right way. I'm hoping so. Oh, great. Oh, no, 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 no. We don't need dogs. We don't need dogs. Come at me, bro. Come on. Come 
one. Oh! Want some more here? Come on! Your turn! Well, we better keep moving. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Alright, we've got to be careful now. Oh, 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 oh. Don't slip, don't slip. Up. Easy now, come on. Don't want to be losing my bearing. safe for now. I just don't get why we're on the run. Like, why are we on the run? I just don't get it. Are we like a criminal or something? Or is it because of this, I don't know, ability that we've got? Do people want to take us off us or something? Or kill us because we've got it? Are we like a mutant from like X-Men or something? So what do we need to do? Do we need to go in the car? Hang on, let's try and drive the motorbike to uh, Jody. Okay, so we can't drive the motorbike. Just the car, I'm guessing. Ah, okay. Keep going. Let's put his foot down and keep moving. See, I'm not going to be doing when it comes to these sorts of parts for Beyond Two Souls because I know this game is quite lengthy. I'm going to make all the parts around about an hour, maybe two hours, depending on like how far we get through the story. So, expect long videos, okay, when it comes to these sorts of things. Hopefully you guys didn't mind, like, a good hour long length through, sort of playthroughs, when it comes to parts of videos. Like, hour longs, just let me know. Or would you prefer longer? Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. In trouble. <laughs> uh, Hold your 
Right, we've got a chopper behind us. And we've got a... A right, well, a right SWAT team right in front of us with guns. Are you ready, Aiden? I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. Let's go. This is suicide, but let's do it. Oh my days. So it's been a pretty in active little start so far, you know what I mean, we've, we're some reason on the run, we've, you know what I mean, we stole a police motorbike, and now, from what that guy said, we're in Bakertown. So. Ouch. Oh, great. Oh, great. No, 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 no. We've got everyone on our tail right now. You're surrounded. Come out with your hands up and you will not be harmed. I'm still looking for trouble. That's what they're going to get. Take care of them, Aiden. Great. Right. Taking, we're gonna hopefully be able to take control of the sniper guy. I want to do some 360 no scopes. You know what I mean? Ooh. <laughs> right. What's next? Oh, we can't get the chopper. It's too far away. It's all right. Right. We've got to get something that's more on the ground. Uh, so what we'll do is we'll take control of this guy. So when there's flashing orange, that means we can take control of them. The red, we can just kill them. With the blue, we can't do nothing to them, I'm guessing. Right. <laughs> you ready for this one, boys? <laughs> Don't need to do anything. Just need to have a little bit of fun. I'm trying to help you the best I can, okay? Just bear with me. Oh, great, great. Keep them off me. I'm trying, okay? Just chill. Doing it, I'm doing it, just chill, chill, chill. Just go inside, go on. Move, 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 move. Oh no. Great. Uh 
I'm trying, okay? Just chill. I don't know what to do. Um. No, don't go, 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 go. I'm trying. Just chill. But I didn't do nothing. Right, what do you want me to do? I'm trying. What do you want me to do? Uh, I'm running out of ideas. Uh, the chopper. I'll, I'll try the chopper. Wait, oh, we can get take control of the pilot. I'm doing it, I'm doing it, I'm doing it. That was mad then. I thought literally we were going to get caught then or something. Tell them to leave me the fuck alone. Because next time, I'll kill everyone. Come on, Aiden. I think they get the message. Mad. But I want to know why we're on the run, though. I'm just stay confused about why why we're on the run. Like, because one moment we're in an office, things are fine, and now we're on the run. But obviously, this game. From what's shown, it's showing you different sort of like points throughout the story. So it would go back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So I'm hoping we're going to be able to learn why she's on the run and everything else. So that's what I'm hoping, but time will tell. And it will hopefully make more sense later on in the story. Ah, okay, so we've gone back to being uh, the younger kid version of, of Jodie. Okay, I'll try to find something. I don't know, maybe we'll watch cartoons, play a few video games, bring my PlayStation 4 down from out the other room, you know, play a couple of games of Crash Bandicoot or something. Do what little kids do these days. Okay, let's watch, uh, let's watch some TV. Yeah? See what else there is. I'd like a glass of milk. Ooh, cookie jar. Oh, cookies. Can I have a cookie? It's almost dinner time, sweetheart. Eat a cookie now, and we'll eat your dinner. Okay. <laughs> Can I just take a cookie? <laughs> 
That's just pure savageness. It's like, you're not going to let me have a cookie? I'll just get my own, okay? <laughs> I make my own rules. What are you doing? Okay. Well, what are you cooking me? Cooking me anything nice? Uh, is there anything we can do around this house? Change the clock. Stairs. Is there anything up here we can check out or interact with? This is uh, the little kid's bedroom, Jody's bedroom. Uh, I'm guessing this might be a mum's room. Oh, what's this? Ooh. Okay. Okay, so there was a weird box that was on top of the wardrobe in the mum's bedroom. Like, I don't want to see any adult stuff in there, you know what I mean? We're playing a video game, so if you got any of your adult toys or anything in there, please make sure that you uh, stick them in a, a more of a private Jody, location. Honey, would you do me a favor? Could you get me a bottle of oil from the garage? Uh, sure, no problem. Yeah, I'll do it for you in a sec. I just want to see what's inside of that box, though, in case there's anything important that can tell me more about the story. But if it's anything adult, I don't want to see it, okay? <laughs> Especially for my younger viewers. I don't think they want to be seeing that sort of thing. So, let's just hope uh, it's nothing like that. Alright, what's inside this box? I'm curious now. <laughs> oh. strange as as if it were vibrating do you feel that too okay so if we line these uh, these like dots up with the blue scent we can use it to trigger a flashback to Jody Put it back now. That skill. I wish I could have one of these little hiding ability things in real life. That would be so cool. But I didn't get me my controller. I didn't go work for me. Take control of my boss so then he gives me more of a paycheck. He gives me more money. Okay? <laughs> that would be so cool. Let me know down below, the, down below the comment section. What would you do if you had... An Iden ability. If you could do anything you wanted with this ability, what would you do? You know what I mean? Be truthful. What would you do? Like me personally, I'd use it for ways to benefit myself. Like make my boss give me more money at work and I don't know. Use it on cash machines. I'll tell Iden go inside the cash machines and, you know, draw me out loads of money. Get myself loads of new games. I think it'd be really cool. Let's put the light on. Okay. Yo, 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 yo. Can you guys see that? There's like a creepy face in the corner. I don't know if you guys can see because of my face cam, but it's this creepy face like that that's terrifying. That is terrifying. If I was walking in the basement like that, or in the garage, or and I saw that like on the wall, that would literally terrify me. 
Alright, we've got the oil. Alright, let's get the hell out of here, okay? That'd be creepy garage, I'm not gonna lie. Something you've seen like in a horror film. Alright, let's go give the uh, oil to our mother. Let's go help her out. What you cooking, me mama? What you cooking? Thanks, sweetheart. Don't know why you just don't keep it in the kitchen in one of the cupboards. Or something. That would be a lot easier. Hey, what's going on? Nothing. I just wanted, just wanted a hug. <sighs> All better now? Okay, I gotta get back to work. So what do I do then? Hmm. Must be go and explore or something. Why don't you go outside and play? I'll call you when dinner's ready. Okay. I'm going. Honey, put your coat on. It's freezing out there. Mm. Lame. <laughs> Parents always tell you what to do, but the thing is. A lot of people, like younger people these days, complain about parents telling them what to do, but nine times out of ten, the parents are doing it for good reasons, you know what I mean? Just give you the best interest in life. They don't want you to do silly things, you know what I mean? Like, for example, put your coat on because it's cold outside. Kids will be annoyed by that, but it's just because they don't freeze to death. But at least we're going to be wrapped up warm now when we go outside, so... No, no, but maybe we can make build a snowman or something. That'll be cool. I'm going. All right, can we build a snowman? Great. Now I can be bored and freezing. But you don't care, do you, Ida? You never get cold. Let's go on the swing. I wonder if I didn't can push us on the swing or something. That'd be pretty cool. Will you push me, Aiden? His kids like playing in the street. Back in the day, that's the sort of thing I'd do when I was a kid. It'd be snowing, everyone would be having snowball fights outside, and it was a lot of fun. Let me know down below in the comment section for you were uh, older people these days. Maybe you're in your 20s, 30s, 40s onwards. Back in the day, did you used to do snowball fighting? Back in the day, and for me, I used to love doing it as a kid. I don't do it anymore, obviously, but you know. When you were a kid, that's something I used to do quite a lot. I used to love it when it was snowing. the best. Hmm. 
Squeeze through. Nice and easy. Try not bang your heads in the process. Hey Joe, do you want to play with us? Yeah, sure. Come on, hurry up and hide then. You're gonna get cream. Oh. Careful, 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 careful. I do apologize for just hearing my long enough as well, guys. Come on, let's get it. <laughs> Man, this is fun. Jodie's got a really good shot on her as well. She literally could just lob any lob it at any angle as floor people. What's this? Whack! Come at me, bro. Can throw without even looking. How good is that? That is skill. It's meant to be cold. It's not going to be warm, is it? Oh, no, 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 no. Did you see that? She nearly killed me. You saw what she did to me? She's a witch. A dirty, rotten witch. What's going on here? She's a witch. I'm telling you. Jody Holmes is a witch. Get in the house. Oh dear. What happened? What were you doing in the street? You know you're not allowed to leave the yard. I saw the other kids playing. I, I just wanted to have some fun. What did you do to that boy? Philip. I didn't do anything. I didn't do it. He was trying to defend me. He thought. I'm sick and tired of your stories. Jody, this time you're really gonna get it. No. Go to your room. No! Seems like a very aggressive dad role. You know what I mean? I, I, don't, I, I don't approve of that sort of thing, personally. I think it's wrong. Seems like a right douchebag. Monsters don't exist. But I'll leave the light on the door open, okay? Get some sleep, sweetie. I wonder if these know about her abilities. I'm curious now. Susan, that's no little girl. That's... Susan, that's a monster. Don't you dare talk about her like that. The things that are happening around her, they're not normal. And they're getting stronger, for the love of God. Susan, what's to stop her from turning on us? Oh, don't be ridiculous. Susan, that thing is like an uncontrollable animal. We have no idea what it's capable of. We have a demon living with us right under her own roof. Susan, this is going to stop. And it's going to stop now before we end up crazy or dead. We agreed to look after a little girl, Susan, but not this. Not this. He seems like a right douche. I'm not gonna lie, he's a right douchebag. I get it, you know what I mean? It's, it's his struggle, he's a worry to, uh, you know, if you were looking after a young child that's got some abilities. But the thing is, you shouldn't treat her any different, you know what I mean? She's just a little girl, you know what I mean? You should look after her. 
help her to understand her of these abilities and I don't know, use them to your advantage if anything. Ah, oh, great. I didn't. To be scared, I didn't. We're going to sleep, and nothing is going to happen. Monsters didn't exist. You were wrong, Mommy. You were wrong. Oh, my God. Little girl's terrified. You know what I mean? Imagine having to go through that as a child. Like, you're in monsters and stuff. And, man. But it, like, traumatizes you as a person. But hopefully you're all enjoying the video so far, guys. We are like 42 minutes into this, and it's it's been an interesting part so far. We're learning more and more and more now, and I'm looking forward to find out more about the story. But it looks like now we're going to a different time in our life now. Get up. Huh? What, what's going on? Get dressed. I'll explain in the car. Okay. The DPA has launched a program to study the other side. The infrabrotus, they call it. They've created a condenser, a machine to open a rift in what lies beyond. And a passage? To Iden's world? Something happened last night. Entities got through the rift and we couldn't shut down the condenser. Everybody in the building was slaughtered. None of the rescue teams came back. They called and asked for your help. I told them you were just a child, that it was too dangerous. But they know only you know how to deal with what lies beyond the rift. So some rifts opens, and these, I'm guessing things like Aiden, of course, a massive problem in the world. She's the only one that can stop this. We got any information coming out of there I'm sorry, Miss. We can't show you. She can go. Oh, I'm sorry. Right. The condenser is in the lower basement. You need to find the control room. That's all they could tell me. Jody. Okay. The entities around the rift, they're not like Aiden. They're from the depths of the other side. We know almost nothing about them. I'm 
been living with an entity that I know nothing about since the day I was born. I get it. Don't worry. I don't plan on dying today. Well, we can do this, okay? We can do it. So I'm guessing what Aiden is, is an entity, from what uh, Nathan's just said. Um, so, at least we know now what, what Aiden is, okay? So he's not a spirit, he's like a soul, he's like a, an entity, basically. That's what he is. But I'm scared. And I'm guessing, from what the information we've been given so far, is that this rift thing has made more of these Aiden things, these entities, and it's caused chaos in this building. Oh, we gotta try and put a stop to it, so. This should be interesting. A very, very interesting. So let's see how all this is all gonna play out. Great. Oh, the elevator's stuck. Do, right, let's see what we can do. Let's uh, let's just check around this area first in case there's like a panel or anything we can activate or a switch or something because we just don't know, do we, boys? We just don't know. So it's worth having a little look around just in case. And if not, we can try and investigate and have a look inside the elevator itself to see if there's, I don't know, a broken button or something or maybe it's stuck somewhere on a certain floor or I don't know. Maybe it's got problems with it. Maybe we can use Aiden's abilities to lift the lift up and bring it up to us or something. I can see a ladder there. So maybe that might come useful. Okay. So this is the elevator. Oh, okay. So we've got like a briefcase blocking the door. There we go. Right, the lift should hopefully come to us now. Right, there's a lot of blood everywhere. Right, let's go down. Whoa! Got a body there in the corner. Are you okay? I wonder what happened to this guy. Okay, so we've got... Like, well, I'm guessing check his memory. Like a flashback sort of thing, so we can see, hopefully, be able to figure out what's happened. Hang on, let me just try here. Uh, okay, so one goes there, and the other one. Yeah, okay, I get it, I get it, I get it. What do we do now then? Right. Okay, so we press the button. Laboratories. I feel like I'm playing a horror game now. <laughs> Tell you what though, this game gives you like different, gives you different feels when you play it. Like I feel like I'm playing like a good storytelling game, and then when we're doing the combat thing, it felt like I was playing Rainbow Six sort of thing. And now, let's get off me, bro. 
Whereas Sita's, uh, and now he feels like I'm playing a horror game. Let's try and drag this guy out of the way. I think he's blocking the doorway off. Yo! Uh. Yo, that was weird. I'm sure I wasn't seeing things and that body just got up. I'm sure I wasn't seeing things. If I was seeing things, then fair enough, like, but I swear that body just got up. <laughs> that was creepy. Ugh. I know I'm tired today, don't get me wrong, I've had literally about four hours sleep today guys, because literally I've just been so busy. I know, I can feel it too, they're here, they're All close these to entities me, okay? are here. Right, what's this? Okay, this needs to come down or we need to move it. Ready, Aiden? Let's do this. This place looks like it's uh Yo, that does not sound good. Uh You okay, sir? I need to uh flash back your memory or well, memories so that I can uh, see what's going on here. Powerful concentration of energy. Which allows us to open a temporary bridge. Oh god. So we got killed by some creature. Man, that's loud. Uh, there we go. Just shutting that up, guys, because that was really loud in my ears, and I don't know. I found that quite annoying, so I just don't want to like annoy you guys with it. Ready, Aiden? No point in doing that, Aiden. What do you mean, no point in doing that? Let's do that then. <laughs> so let's go. It's one way of doing it, I guess. Okay, pick up a chair. Is it can we pick up this chair? Oh, wow. Okay. So we could have smashed the window as alternatively, as like an alternative option. Okay. The thing I do like about this game, there's like alterations, like it's alternative things you can do to do certain things. Which I think is a really cool thing. Like for example then, we use that cabinet thing to fall down and smash the window. We could have used a chair to smash the window, there's probably other ways as well. 
which I think is I think is pretty cool. So it's not just one way only. Which means when he got these sorts of things in video games, if you watched another person's playthrough of this game, yeah, a lot of the events in the game may be similar, and a lot of things might happen the same, but there'll be little things in the game that completely change. They'll be completely different because people do different choices within games like this. Hmm. Yo! Them entity things just literally just demolish that guy. Well, demolish them people. I've got a fireman here. I want to see what happened to him. So we've got a fire extinguisher here. Right. We'll try and put this fire out the best we can anyway. Yo! That was just creepy as hell. Imagine that, you're just walking around casually and some guy runs through fire and tries to kill you. That's mad. I feel like I'm playing Resident Evil now or something. Just careful. Ooh. Slight little cut there on my hand. So be careful, because that will probably be really sharp. It's gonna have a nasty gash on that, like a nasty graze mark. Are you okay, sir? Yo. Was that guy actually dead or was he, like, controlled by somebody? I can hear someone crying. Hello? Is anyone here? Hello? Hello? Is anyone here? Oh, 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 hello? You okay? Yo! Yo!
Oh! Oh my days. What the hell? No, 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 no. Careful, careful, careful. This Jody person's savage. Literally. So we can see now what the entities can do, these bad entities. They can take control of people's bodies and technically turn them into like zombie monster things. You know what I mean? So we got to keep an eye out for everybody because we don't know who's going to be turned into these things. I need to check these these people's memories because I need to see if there's anything important in their memories that we need to use to our advantage. Man, this game is so gruesome. <laughs> Mad. But there's a doctor guy that was in that other room, so I'm guessing we've got to go in here now. Damn it. Right, I didn't I'm gonna need your help with this one. Hang on guys. with me. Just need to put my controller on charge. There we go. Should be all good now. Last thing I want is my controller dying whilst I'm trying to play this game. So it's one of my um, bad habits I do have is I forget to put my controllers on charge every day. So we end up getting flat most of the time. Right. Uh, I don't know if there's anything in here that we need. But I can hear entities, so. Off, mate. Come on. Whoo. Okay. Probably the best we're gonna get through this trade squeeze through. Nice and easy. Okay, there's a lot of bodies in this room. I guess these guys all froze to death, I'm guessing. The condenser is close. I can feel the echo on the other side. Let's take it really slow. Maybe we can slip through unnoticed.
Nice and easy. I'm just keeping an eye on these bodies in case any of them try to kill me. One of them's gonna have a pass card. Surely. Uh, let's see if this Iden can do any work on these guys. See if they can try and find one of them or be able to unlock anything for me. What the hell's that? Oh, what the hell's that? Freezing cold temperatures, freezing to death very slowly because we didn't wrap up warm. And we need to find this pass guard. It's got to be around here somewhere. I reckon either one of these guys have got one or it's fallen on the floor somewhere. Because I'm guessing things will fall out of people's pockets, especially if it's been like, uh, you know, an outbreak like this. But we'll have to have a look, proper look around everywhere. Okay, that guy's gone. Okay, that guy there doesn't have anything. Okay. Um, I really don't know where to go right now, guys. I don't know where this passcode is. If you've ever played this game before and you have any tips for me or anything I should look out for when it comes to the story or anything, or you know any games that are like this, then uh, drop them in the comment section. I would really, really appreciate it if you want to see these sorts of games in the future moving forward on the channel. I just don't know where this card thing could be. Come on, Aiden. Can we find something? I don't know what this is. Maybe this is the card. Is this the card, though? No, you've unlocked a new bonus. Okay. There's like secret collectibles, then, which I didn't realize were only even in the game in the first place. I thought it was the card. I'm not going to lie, I actually generally thought it was the card. We just need to double check these bodies and just have a little scout around on the floor area. Or go by cabinets and stuff in case there's anything on cabinets or in cabinets that we can interact with. Because we just don't know, do we? There's going to be something somewhere that allows me to find this card. Okay, it's just a body. Uh, so it's definitely not these bodies here. It's not that one, because we've checked this one before. We can always try this one up here. We haven't, I don't think we checked this one yet. Oh, he's got a card. There's a card there. Do you mind if I take this card, my friend? Thank you. Oh, great. Come on, bro. Go away. Get off me! Keep him away. Let me keep him away. Ooh, it's 
close. I thought we could have been literally mince me then. These must be what the entities look like. They did it. Passage to the other side. That is amazing. Put a stop to this. Oh shit. I damn thing won't work. Another console. If I can get to it, we might still have a chance. Okay, so there's two control panels. We just deactivated one. So we've got to get to another one. But we've got to go past them entities. This is going to be insane, boys. This is like a death suicide mission. I'm going to make a run for the console. I run. You protect me from the entities, okay? Come on, Aiden. We're going to need you for this one, bro. Let's go. Don't let me down, okay? Let's do this. Run, 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 run. I don't even know which way I need to go. Okay, the other way. Come on, Jody, we can do this. Whoa, 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 whoa. These entities aren't playing around. Come on, keep going. I've right, got to keep moving, keep moving. These entities off my back. Come on, Jody, we can do this. Oh, no, 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 no. Right. Here you go, we're gonna give you the ladder. Go, 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 get on the ladder. Move it! Before we come, like, before you turn into entity food, you know what I mean? I'm not gonna lie, guys, this story in this game's amazing. <laughs> this is so good. Oh no, this is risky. One slip here, we could be dead. So we need to be really careful. Uh. 
Come on, keep moving, keep moving. Right, go for the ladder, for the ladder. Just keep moving, okay? Keep moving. Right, the control panel. Jump! These entities really, really want my character dead right now. Come on. There we go. There's another one taken down. We need to jump. We need to go, 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 go. We keep moving. Come on, come on, move, 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 move. Jump. Again. Oh, no, no, no. Keep moving, keep moving, keep moving. That's a control panel. Get that for an explosion. So it's just got eliminated all the entities. I think that's it. I'll be I'll be like got rid of them all. Are they gone for good? Don't say you're gone. You're still here. afraid I lost you. Don't let them ever do that again. If they open a passage, there'll be nothing left. At least we made it out alive. So anyways guys, what I'm going to do now, because I've been playing for literally an hour and 20 minutes now. It's been a pretty good episode, and I'm hoping that you have enjoyed uh, part two. You know what I mean? It's been, it's been a lot of fun, and now that we're learning more and more and more about the story, it's, it's got me hooked, because I want to know what happens next. But, if you want to see part three soon, then let me know down below in the comment section. I can get around to doing part three as soon as possible. If you want to see it, let me know. 
If you're enjoying these sorts of videos and you've got any game suggestions of your own and you would like me to take your game suggestions on board and play your games that you like on the channel in the near future, then let me know, guys. But as teachers, I just want to say thank you for watching. If you have enjoyed it, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new. Turn on the post notification icon. It will notify you when upload any new content in the nearby future. So make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, because then you'll never, ever miss any of my uploads here on more Aaron Cooper. Anyways, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again real soon. Take care.